Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn to position integers and rational numbers on a number line. First of all, let us position integers on a horizontal number line. And here we have drawn a horizontal number line where on the right side of 0, we will write the positive integers and on the left side of 0, we will write the negative integers. Also, we will place the integers at equal distances on the number line. Now, suppose we have to represent the marks obtained by a student on this number line. Now suppose in an objective examination for every correct answer the student gets 4 marks. Now getting 4 marks means positive number 4 now let us plot plus 4 on a number line. Now we know that on the right side of 0 we have positive integers. So for plotting plus 4 on a number line we will move 4 units to the right of 0 and we will reach at this point which represents plus 4 on a number line. And in this examination for every wrong answer one mark is deducted. Now deduction of one mark means negative number one. Now let us plot minus one on the number line. Now we know that on the left side of zero we have negative integers. So for plotting minus one on this number line we will move one unit to the left side of zero and we will reach at this point which represents minus 1 on the number line. So from here you can see that whenever we have to plot positive integers on the number line then in that case we will move to the right side of 0 and whenever we have to plot negative integers on the number line then in that case we will move to the left side of 0. Similarly, we can plot the integers on a vertical number line. Now on a vertical number line, we take 0 at the center and the numbers above 0 are positive and the numbers below 0 are negative. And here also we will place the integers at equal distances. Now let us plot minus 3 and 4 on this vertical number line. Now minus 3 is a negative integer which means we have to move 3 units below 0 and we will reach at this point and this is the point minus 3 on this vertical number line. Now we have to plot 4 on this vertical number line. Now 4 is a positive integer which means we will move 4 units above 0 and we will reach at this point and this is the point which represents 4 on this vertical number line. Now in this number line, that is the vertical number line, we have taken the scale of 1, that is the difference between two integers is 1. Also, 
In this horizontal number line, we have taken the scale of 1. Now suppose we have to plot larger values like minus 15 and 20 on the number line. So in this case, we can take the scale of 5 so that we can take the points as 0, 5, 10, 15 and so on. And on the left hand side of 0, we can take the points as minus 5, minus 10, minus 15 and so on. Now here easily we can plot the numbers minus 15 and 20 on this horizontal number line. Now suppose we have to plot the numbers 250 and minus 100 on the number line. Then in this case we can take the scale of 50 and here easily we can plot the numbers 250 and minus 100 on this number line. And now let us learn to position the rational numbers on a number line. Now we know that rational numbers are the numbers which can be written as simple fractions. So let us learn to position fractions on a number line. Now let us plot 1 by 3 on a number line. Now 1 by 3 means one third part. And when we divide 1 by 3, then this will be equal to 0 0.333 and so on, which is equal to 0 0.3 up to one decimal place. Now 0 0.3 lies between 0 and 1. Now as 1 by 3 means one third part, so we will divide the number line between 0 and 1 in three equal parts. So we will take the numbers as 0, 1 by 3, 2 by 3, and 3 by 3, now 3 by 3 is equal to 1. Now here we can easily plot the fraction 1 by 3 on the number line. Now suppose we have to plot a mixed fraction 1 and 1 by 2 on the number line. Now this mixed fraction is equal to 3 by 2 which is equal to 1.5. So the mixed fraction 1 and 1 by 2 lies between 1 and 2. So here we can plot the mixed fraction 1 and 1 by 2 in between 1 and 2 on the number line. Similarly, the mixed fraction minus 3 and 4 by 5 is equal to minus 3 by 5 which lies between minus 3 and minus 4. So in this way, we can plot the mixed fraction minus 3 and 4 by 5 in between minus 3 and minus 4 on the number line. And similarly, we can plot the other mixed fractions also. So in this session, we have learned to position rational numbers and integers on a number line. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.